Hey, how's it going everybody? And uh, in the last video, a lot of people complain about the time limit in the software. So this is an update for that video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can connect your iPhone to your PC or Windows laptop. And uh, you don't have to worry about time limit. So the first thing you want to do is connect your iPhone to the uh, Wi-Fi network. Now make sure your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer is. In my case, I'm going to be using desktop computer, but you can use laptop. Uh, you can use Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. It works both. So it works the same. So once your iPhone is connected to your network, you don't have to do any, anything on your iPhone. Just hop onto your PC and download a software called Air Server. All right. So I have link. I have the I have the link in the descri description box below. Just click on it and it will prompt you to the download. Just click on 64 if you're using a 64-bit Windows and uh, you got 32-bit too. In my case, I'm going to be using 64. Just click on 64 download, and it will take a few seconds. And there you go. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it before. I'm not gonna do it again. Just download the software. It should take about a few seconds, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Now, uh, once the download is complete, double click on it as usual. Just follow my steps. It's really easy. All right, so the once the software is complete and installed, you, you won't be finding the icon on the desktop. So you have to manually uh, put it on the desktop. Just go to the start menu and you will find the air server. Just right click on it and uh, find the location. Just click on the icon, the uh, shortcut and just send it to desktop. There you go. All right, now, now it's really simple from here. Just double click on it, it will show you some screen. Just, just follow my step. Just click on try, it will give you about 31 days. That's a lot. Trust me, I'm using trial myself, so don't worry about it. And uh, just make sure your software is updated. I'm not gonna do it. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else. Now, let me show you how you can connect your iPhone. So um, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it again. Just double click on it. Just the, just the process I showed you before. Really simple, right? Now, once you skip the, uh, okay, just following screens, you know, all really simple. Just make sure there's a tray at the bottom for the air server. So, and you don't have to do anything else on your iPhone. Now, just make sure your iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi network and just click, uh, swipe down if you're using iPhone uh, iPhone 10 or above and uh, swipe up if you're using the older iPhones. So just swipe down the control panel and just click on screen mirroring. Once you click on the screen mirroring, we'll show you there's a, there's a computer, there's an Apple TV in my case, that's my desktop computer. I've named it, I've named it, I've named it uh, Wastro. So this, that's my computer running in the background and uh, you will be seeing yours and I have named it this. So you can, you can also change your names, by the way, I'll show you just in a bit, a lot of settings. Just once you click on it, once you click on your computer, it will automatically screen, uh, uh, mirror your iPhone to your desktop, desktop PC, Windows laptop. And, uh, and there you go. Pretty smooth, right? And that's, that's pretty cool. You can do quite a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about the time limit in this one. It could work as long as you want. It could uh, it could stay as like this for as long as you want, as long as you have a battery on your iPhone, of course. But then uh, that's really simple, right? You can view pictures, you can video, you can play video games, you can uh, you can watch videos, you can watch Netflix if you want to, and uh, you can do quite a lot of stuff. And also. Just an icing on the cake. You don't. You don't actually need the Wi-Fi connection. You just need the Ethernet cable and the, just a router, something to connect to. All right, now I'll show you some uh, options. R right click on the tray at the bottom for the air server on your desktop. It's really simple. Just click settings, and you will be. Uh, you'll be seeing quite a lot of options. You can change the quality, you can change the computer name from the software, and there you go, I'm connected to it, just to, just, just to show you how it works. Pretty simple, right? And uh, you can see it's working pretty smooth, and you don't have to worry about the time limit. Oh yeah, but the one thing that I really don't like about it is the, uh, the watermark at the bottom of it. I mean, you don't have to worry about it, really. There you go, I'm using camera, this live. By the way, this is from the last night, Just I was just making a video for the, uh, for the, I'm just screen capturing and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.